I am the God of Bethel, where you anointed a pillar and where you made a vow to me. Now leave this land at once and go back to your native land. As the conclusion, Jacob said to his wives, So God has taken away your father's livestock and has given them to me. God has done this for me. That was the point. How amazing it was for Jacob to see that God was helping him in his practical matters, such as his wages. Jacob was very comforted, happy, and thankful. That way, in Padan Aram, God became very real to Jacob, and thereby he was developing personal faith in God. Jacob was very attracted to God. This is what this was what had happened to him in Padan Aram while he was not concerned about God, but pursued his own things because God helped him really. When you think about this, we see that in the same way God has helped us. Before, like Jacob, we were not concerned about God. Were you concerned about God while you were living as party animals? Definitely not. We were just pursuing our own dreams, really. We were not spiritual. We were just busy with our own things, pursuing worldly, fleshly, or even sinful things. Had not God intervened into our life, indeed, we would have ended our life in that way, living the, uh, the, such a miserable and empty life. But God was with us. And even when we, even when we were sinful and worldly, God helped us continually. God revealed himself to us over and over again in our practical matters, such as school matters or job matter, or family matter, or car accident matter, or even shooting matter. Some shooting occurred and we could have been killed. But strangely, those bad people did not bother us. And bullets avoided us. <laughs> that happened over and over again. That even we, who had lived a sinful life, who were not concerned about God, came to recognize that God was helping us. We became very aware of God in our life. We became very then serious about the meaning of life. We came to acknowledge the existence of God and the reality of heaven and hell. While others Mindlessly, mindlessly lived a happy go and look happy go lucky sinful life. We were really burdened about what we were doing and how we must live our life. Then, when the right time came, God sent His servant who taught us the Bible. Indeed, when we look back, we can say that God has been with us in our life. Today, we are growing up as a spiritual people, as children of God, all thanks to God who, had been, who has been with us and who has helped us. 